you say the rapture is a hoax? Probably, uh, you know, we have uh, a lot of Christians today who don't really know the scriptures. So, everything they're looking for in the Bible, they use a search engine. Because they've never really studied the Bible on their own. So, they're looking for, you put rapture in the search engine for your Bible, you're not going to find it in any verse. You're not going to find the word rapture in any verse. Because that's not how, that's not how you get it. But I'm going to read to you from the scriptures. And then you tell me what word would you use. So, I'll begin from... Let's see what the Bible tells us, all right? Let's see what it says. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 from verse 51. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 from verse 51. Now, Paul is writing here to the Corinthian church. He says, Behold, I show you a mystery. Now, you can see why most don't understand it. Because there are certain mysteries mysteries divine revelations esoteric communications that Paul brought to the church and so you don't find it in the generic discussions see now let me remind you in the days of Jesus in the earth when he was ministering in the earth those few years where the Lord ministered among his disciples they knew nothing hear what I, what I said to you now they knew nothing the disciples knew nothing about the Gentiles coming into Christ the Gentiles receiving salvation they didn't know about it they had no knowledge of that to the point that with all the discussions that Jesus had with them, they couldn't find anything that gave them a clear understanding that the Gentiles were to be brought into salvation. They didn't know that. Now, think about this. Something as important as that, because some people say, well, Jesus didn't say much about rapture. Well, Jesus, didn't. well, there are a lot of things that Jesus didn't say much about. Don't forget what he told them. He said, when the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. He said, I have many things to tell you now, but you cannot receive them. So you can't receive them now. I got a lot to tell you, but you can't receive them now. But the Holy Spirit, when he comes, will teach you all things. So Jesus didn't say, what you would have wanted to hear about the rapture. He didn't say what you'd have wanted to hear about the salvation of the Gentiles. These are very vital things. He said he'll build his church, but they thought it was going to be a Jewish church. They didn't know it. To the point that when 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 Paul went to the house of Cornelius the Roman centurion, not, not Paul, Peter. When Peter went to the house of, of uh, Cornelius the Roman centurion and they received salvation, when he came back, the other disciples were angry with him. They said, you went to the house of the uncircumcised. They had no clue, they had no idea that the Gentiles were to receive salvation. He had to explain to them experience with the Spirit of God. He said, the Spirit bade me go. And he let them know how that without his permission, without his permission, the Holy Ghost came on the people, the Gentiles, while he was still speaking to them. Then they calmed down. 
And then James opened the scriptures and read to them that, oh, the prophets did actually say that the Gentiles will come into this salvation. That was the first clue they had about Gentiles having salvation. But that message was wholly given to Paul. It was very easy for him to understand because God gave him that revelation on the Gentiles and the salvation. I want you to think about that in your mind. As important as that was, they didn't know anything about it until later on. Same thing with the rapture. So, at the time of writing, Paul calls it a mystery. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, in a moment, it's going to happen so fast. So fast, you didn't have time to prepare for it. It's something you should have been preparing all your life. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. Now I want you to open to 1 Corinthians, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. I'm going to read from verse 16. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. This is powerful. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. With the voice of the archangel. And with the trump of God. That's the trump you just heard of. The trumpet you heard of. That we just read to you in 1 Corinthians 15. He says with the voice of the archangel. And with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. So it's the same thing he's talking about. The dead shall be raised incorruptible. We just read that. Now he says, the dead in Christ shall rise first. Next verse. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together. Did you see that? That's exactly what you wanted to see. Caught up together. A puzzle. 